Hi Leo, welcome to your weekly forecast. We're going to see what's happening in the week ahead with this lovely deck here. And then we're going to watch, uh, not watch, we're going to pull a spirit message from this oracle deck here. Uh, I know I'm super late getting this up, guys. I'm sorry, the energies have been intense. Maybe some of you are feeling it too. So since the reading is late, we're going to do a little bit of a different format. Plus, a lot of people are like, what, what day is it anyway? Like, time doesn't have the same flow that it used to so we're just going to see what you need to know this week this is just going to be a message and see what comes up what you need to know this week um and you guys will have to let me know in the comments if you like this format that i'm about to do or if uh after you see the format if you want me to go back to the old way and majority will rule i will do whatever the majority of you ask okay my dears oh well i guess that's meant to go there because it fell all right either way you have nine of wands coming up here, Leo. So you're defensive about something or you are coming into the final stages of a plan. Perhaps both. They don't have to be, uh, you know, uh, like one or the other. It could definitely be both these things combined. Uh, Ten of wands is completion. So nine of wands could be that you're, you're getting very close to something finalizing. Now, um, when this card comes up to tell you you're almost done, it's also telling, it's also coming up because you're probably very exhausted and you might be like, oh my God, like, is there ever an end in sight? Like, you know, when is this going to be done? When am I going to get there? Nine of Wands comes up to say you are so very close. You are super duper close. Don't give up. You're almost there. The other aspect of Nine of Wands is some of you might be preparing to make a decision uh, where you're feeling a little bit defensive, like you're feeling like you have to protect what you've worked for, or you're having to protect all this hard work you put into something. For some of you, it could be your heart in some kind of way. Maybe you're uh, wanting to let people in. I know a lot of people who uh, typically maybe are very busy and not looking for relationships, like because of what's happening right now, they might be thinking about relationships or they might begin realizing that they might be kind of lonely. So some of you might be thinking about letting somebody in or like you're wanting to confront somebody about your emotions or feelings, but you're like, you know, how are they going to take it? How are they going to respond? Nine of Wands is like, look, Leo, listen up, Leo. <laughs> listen, Leo. Every single one of these wands is a battle that she has fought. Every single one of these wands, somebody that steps to her, that challenged her, and she's got banged up here a little bit. She seems to have some injuries, but she's still standing. She's okay, and she can fight that next battle. Each one of those battles gave her experience. You've been through nine battles already. Spirit is telling you, Leo, you've been through nine really big battles already. You're about to, you know, move past this next hurdle, this final hurdle. If you allow your experience to uh, remind you or to guide you, you don't have anything to fear. Especially if your fear is in areas of personal relationships or love and romance. Because this basically says every dirty little trick under the sun, you've seen it. You've seen it, Leo. Any mind game, any manipulation, any deceit, uh, any red flag, you've been there, you've done that, you've seen it all. Every lie there is to tell, you've heard them all. There's nothing new under the sun that anybody can come at you with. So as long as you're keeping your eyes open and as long as you're going into this alert and you're paying attention to red flags, you're not going to get hurt again. Right? If you see that garbage coming up, then right away you're just going to go ahead and nip it in the bud. Like, uh uh, not doing this again. You know, maybe some of you are coming out of something karmic where you went round and round in circles with somebody for like, you know, five, six, seven, who knows, 10 years even, off, on again, off again. And you're like, oh man, I don't want to waste that kind of time again. Nine of Wands says you've got nothing to worry about, right? You might end up letting in the best experience of your life. But if somebody's no good, your experience has told you what to look out for. As long as you're keeping your eyes open, you're not going to get taken advantage of again. All right, but you, that means you have to act. If something's not adding up, you need to confront it. If something just doesn't seem right, you, you have to pay attention to red flags. If you see red flags, you're out of there and you don't get hurt. Okay, your next card here is Ace of Cups. Leo, I'm so happy for you. I want to hug all my Leo friends. Um, 
Ace of Cups generally is a super happy card, okay? Uh, it's, it's already good things right off the bat, but I get extra happy when I see it because it has a little bit of an extra meaning for me in my readings based on what I've seen over the years reading for people. So Ace of Cups tends to come up, I've noticed, when we just talked about a karmic cycle, uh, when somebody's coming out of a karmic cycle where they've had the same misfortune constantly happen to them again and again and again and again, and they just get to this point where they're like, this is ridiculous. Why do I keep dating the same kind of jerk? Why do I keep having the same horrible boss? Why does this terrible thing keep happening to me no matter where I go, no matter what I do? And they just have this moment where they're like, you know what, I've learned my lesson. I know what the red flags are. I'm not going to let myself get, you know, taken advantage of ever again. I'm not going to fall for this garbage ever again. I'm done. I'm sick of feeling this way. I'm done feeling this way. I want to be happy. I'm ready to be happy. The universe says, awesome, amazing. Leo is awake now. Neo, uh, Neo, <laughs> Leo, uh, although Neo means new, so that's good, new. You're, 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 a, you're a Neo Leo. You're a new Leo now. You've had this awakening. And so spirit's like, awesome, Leo's awake now. Leo doesn't need this poking like to wake up anymore. Leo's awake and Leo knows their self-worth and they're ready to receive. So now instead of having the painful karmic lessons, you're switching over to the positive karma lessons, the happy karma, right? Like in school, there's some teachers, all the kids, they just want to be in that class so bad because that's the fun teacher. That's the cool teacher. And then there's the other teachers that are just like, oh man, I hope I don't get that teacher. Oh man, I don't want to be in that class because that teacher is just a joy kill, right? Like they might be very strict and very mean and their approach might be terrible. And so you're about to get to be in the fun class. You're learning the same lessons, but you're going to learn them in a fun way. And that's very exciting. That makes me very happy for you. That's telling me that a lot of you Leos that are tuning in this week have been through something very tremendous, very painful, but now it's f turning around. And, and now you're going to have, um, imagine the level of pain you had. Imagine having that level of joy. How beautiful is that? Like, can you even, can you even fathom that? So you're making that positive switch. Your next card, my dears, is the Hermit, right? So the Hermit is a major arcana card. And this is kind of sort of our stalker card this week. This is coming up for a lot of people. Um, and so I know a lot of people see the Hermit and they think of singleness, right? And for some of you, that could be the case because the Ace of Cups might be where you're like, I'm sick of fighting with this person. I'm ready to be happy. I'm going to take some time by myself. That could be the, the storyline for some of you. However, because this keeps coming up for a lot of different people, I feel there's a mass awakening happening right now where a lot of people are learning from their lessons. They're having epiphanies and they're looking at ways like to become better, uh, to reach out, to help other people. So I feel like I just heard new lease on life. I feel the hermit for you guys, Leo, is more of an energy of like having a new lease on life. And you're really taking some time to think and plan what you're going to do with this, like how you're going to really make this count what you're going to do with this fresh start, what you're going to do with this new beginning and really, really make full use of it, take full advantage of it. Um, it could be a Virgo for some of you. You may have a Virgo coming in. Now, I'm a little hesitant when I go into um, the astrology because sometimes it could be their moon sign. It could be their rising sign. It could even be their Venus. And typically we don't know that about someone. We can ask somebody their birth date and we can maybe figure out their sun sign and their moon sign, but we might not be able to figure out their rising sign and their... Um, Venus, if we don't know where, what city they were born, what time of day, and then we get thrown off. So I don't want you guys to get too hung up on the astrology of it, right? Um, you know, it could be somebody's Venus uh, or, you know, some other placement. But overall, there's an awakening here. There's an awakening here. Uh, and there's just, and look, look, like if you even look at the picture, look, like, look how tired she is, how exhausted she is. Leo, my poor Leos, you guys have been through quite, uh, an ordeal you guys have been through quite an ordeal uh but 
oh my poor darlings you guys have it turning around for the better now okay um and there's an awakening there's like a learning of of the the lessons and i also feel this is coming up to give you reassurance leo because i feel there might be some aspects where you're blaming yourself right like where you're, you're saying well you know maybe i did have a good opportunity here and there but maybe i blew it because maybe i let my temper get the best of me or maybe i was hurting and i was standoffish and maybe i kind of was you know i pushed people away and so you might have some fear because you realize there's this new opportunity here um but you might have some fear that what what if i mess it up but i feel like the hermit is coming up and saying you're not gonna mess it up like you're awake now you learned what you needed to learn you don't have to be afraid you don't have to be afraid about uh about that your next card here leo is nine of cups Woo! it's a good week to be a leo nine of cups is wishes coming true wishes coming true now i know when i do a reading everybody wants to see ten of cups everybody wants to see ten of cups um and nine of cups is almost there <laughs> one thing i want to bring to your attention nine 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 i can't even make that up you've got nine repeating three times in my readings when spirit um says something uh, repeatedly, like, especially if I hear something three times, they're really emphasizing it. They're, they're really kind of drilling something in here. They're really, really emphasizing something. For those of you that don't know, uh, nine is the angel number having to do with awakening and stepping into a role as a teacher, as a spiritual teacher. So either you are about to have a very special relationship with someone who is like a spiritual teacher to you um, or, or helping you learn a lot of important life lessons or making you feel like it's safe for you to have this awakening um, or uh, you might be becoming a teacher in some kind of way, right? You might be taking your experiences and looking at ways where you're wanting to help people or you're wanting to help others, you know? Like if you're a Leo who's overcoming some kind of addiction, you may decide that you want to start sponsoring other people because you're feeling ready or you're wanting to do something in which you're guiding or showing other people the way. Maybe some of you are really, really, literally going to be some kind of a teacher. Maybe you're going to be teaching a subject or, you know, get into, uh, I don't, I just heard professor, um, Maybe some of you are doing something like this. Uh, but nine is an angel number for uh, like spiritual teachers, spiritual guides, uh, uh, you know, kind of stepping into that role and spiritual awakening, spiritual enlightenment. So you have that repeating three times. That's significant, Leo. It's going to come up in different ways for different ones of you. Um, if you're comfortable sharing how you feel that applies to you, feel free to share that in the comments. But maybe that's too personal for some of you, but I just find it so interesting that you've got nine, three times here. Um, and this is a, a, a teacher mentor kind of card too here with the, with the hermit. So very interesting, but going back to the 10 of cups, this is nine of cups, obviously. So you're almost at the 10 of cups, just like a uh, nine of wands is almost to the to the ten of wands i feel some of you are very sold on a person or situation you're very close to locking it in you're very close to locking it in and nine of cups is saying this is like a a, a dream come true for you this is a massive wish being fulfilled uh that you're you're finally getting what you want i just heard in my head um there's a smith song please 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 let me get what i want uh, it's such a beautiful, such a sad song, such an emo song uh, from my emo youth, but um, very beautiful song. And that's just the vibe I'm getting with this. It's like you're almost wanting to pinch yourself. Like, is this real? Is this really happening? Yes, it's it's happening. It's real. It's here. Um, let's go ahead and pull a spirit message for you guys. And I do encourage you guys to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos because some weeks that may resonate with you a little bit more or it might bring a little like missing pieces to the puzzle, um, so to speak. A lot of you guys have some frequently asked questions about that, so I will talk about that at the end. But you have healer. Whoa. Okay. So this says you have powerful healing gifts. Have faith in your abilities. Stay true to your path 
as a healer. Now, this throws a lot of people off, but I, I want you to hear me out, um, Leo, because I, I shared this with one of the other signs where this came up. It may have been Aquarius. Um, and they were like, oh my God, like it makes sense now. So, okay. Some of you are straight out healers um, in a metaphysical sense. Like, you know, you might be really into spirituality and, you know, psychic energy and, you know, healing energy, Reiki, all that kind of good stuff. And so you may identify as healers in this way. But healers come in many, many, many shapes and forms, okay? Uh, teachers can be healers. And I got a very strong teaching vibe here. I, I did talk about that. Um, I know uh, in, in my life, some of the biggest, uh, most impactful uh, rays of light in, in a very dark, difficult life uh, came from teachers, Um and they don't know. They have no idea. I don't have any way of tracking them down and going back and telling them. Uh, but uh, teachers can be healers. Um, mentors. Uh, you know, we can encounter healers in all kinds of ways. You don't even know. You could be like a clerk in a store. And you could say something or do something that's really like opening up somebody's mind or, or like changing uh, you know, helping them have an epiphany that's changing their, their life. Don't underestimate the ways in which you're impacting people. Or as a writer, you may be writing something that's very healing. Um, Stand-up comedy. Oh my gosh, I, I've been to some shows where it, it's just been so like profound. The person has said very profound things, but also like really like laughing and, you know, uh, you know, kind of get you thinking, help you to release certain stuff, be able to laugh it off, like, oh, that's so silly, why do we even bother with that, you know? So healers come in all kinds, musicians, you know, uh, uh, movies, all kinds of ways. So uh, don't think that, well, this doesn't apply to me because I'm not into Reiki or I'm not into all of that, you know, uh, you know, spiritual stuff. And uh, obviously I am, you know, and a lot of you might be, but even if you're not into that, don't underestimate your, your powers or abilities as a healer. I do feel, however, whoever you're getting involved with is a healer, Leo. I feel like a lot of you are getting involved with a healer, okay? And um, I, I just feel like it's helping you really kind of connect with your healing power, your healing ability. Uh, so not only are you coming into a time of tremendous healing and positive karma, happy learning, happy lessons, you're also uh, healing and stepping into embracing your own healing energy. So that's very, very beautiful, very beautiful energy. Um, I encourage you to watch your moon sign and rising sign video. It might bring a little bit more information. If you want to know more about love life and stuff, you can check out the love readings for April that are um, linked in the description of the video. You can watch the channel, the angel messages for April that are linked in the description of the video. Uh, but as far as like moon sign, rising sign, I get a lot of frequently asked questions about that, about what that means and how it impacts you, how it influences things. And guys, I am a card reader. I'm an intuitive person. I love to read. I will read all day, every day, uh, but I'm not an astrologer. So if you want to come to me for card readings, if you want to click on the Calendly link and schedule a private reading with me there, I'm more than happy to uh, kind of approach it from that angle. But if you want deeper astrology information, I would suggest checking out the website. I have linked in the description of my video. It's not my website. I don't run that website. I don't post the information there. But they have free articles and stuff that can be very helpful in helping you understand uh, the different aspects of uh, your your birth chart. They also have like private reports that they'll do. Like if you want your natal chart, your birth chart analyzed, or if you want a love and relationship compatibility according to astrology, um, they have all that stuff that they offer for very reasonable price. And they were super awesome, super generous. They offered to sponsor my channel by offering you guys unlimited 30% off if you use the Angel 30 code. So if you want to get like a few different reports done for yourself, you can use the Angel 30 code as many times as you want and get 30% off each one of them. 
uh, which can be very, very useful, come in very, very handy. Uh, so if you want to treat yourself to that and, you know, support the, the channel, that's a possibility. But if not, you know, maybe that's not something you want to do right now. You can definitely check out the free articles as well. And don't forget, guys, every single day on Instagram and Facebook, Amethyst Angelite, I post a card of the day. I do a fun little pick a card. So make sure you're followed um, and uh, not subscribed, but followed there to check out the, the daily messages and subscribe to the channel so that you can get the new videos as they get posted. We're going to be back on schedule again, guys. I promise, I promise, I promise. Thank you so very much for your patience, uh, your love, your support, your understanding. Uh, and let me know in the comments, do you like this format? Um, or do you want me to go back to the old format? So let me know, my darlings. I thank you for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing, of course. Have a wonderful week.